If your WordPress menu looks like this, it's completely fine. It does what it's supposed to do. But why would you settle for that if you could have something like a mega menu, which is highly customizable? So in this video, I will show you how to add mega menu to your WordPress website. And it's very easy. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this WordPress's navigational block with post access menu block. Why post access menu block, you may ask? Because post access menu block is not just another navigational tool. It is like an open canvas, which allows you to do everything a traditional navigational block would allow you to do, but it has so much more potential. You can do practically whatever you want. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video. So stay tuned, click on add block and select post access menu block and since this is an individual block you could practically add this navigational tool to anywhere you want in your website it doesn't just have to be the header or the footer or the sidebar you can have this navigational block anywhere that you want and to start with we have three default items the home blog and about but we can of course customize that since this is a crypto chat blogging site i'm gonna change the text to something related to crypto if you want you can add more items it can be a page a post or even categories before we add items i'm going to show you how you can customize the items in your mini block first we have the item gap we can set the item gap according to your preference you can make it an inline but i'm not going to make it inline because i'm putting this in the header let's the alignment be at middle you can even change the item alignments then are the then there's the menu item settings you can change the topography right now it's it is at the global setting by post text but i'm going to increase the weight a bit make it look a bit more darker then there is different settings for hover and normal view the normal view is right now black i'm gonna switch it to to the theme of my blog page it might not be completely accurate but we're gonna try to get as close as we can i'd say this is close enough and the background right now it's white i'm gonna keep it white you can even add a drop shadow there's a setting for drop shadow border border radius and so on and let's do something about the hover so here's a hover setting right now it's blue i want to switch it to something orangish yeah that looks fine so these are the menu item settings and you can add icons to your menu items you can select if you want the items before or after text you can select the icon size i'm going to show you how to add icons uh, a bit later in the video so don't worry about that you can have the icon colors over here they will get back to the icon settings later as well then there's a drop down icon if you want to add a sub menu how will the icon look we can decide from right over here the color the size everything's possible over here up next we have the background wrapper settings if you want you can add a gradient color solid color or even an image to your wrapper i'm gonna keep it as it is there's an option to add border as well then there is the box shadow settings border radius and so on additionally you can add css or any other things that you want to add to this block but we're not going to touch into that now let's change the text of our menu that matches our website let's start by adding bitcoin let's delete this and i'm going to stick to this now you can even individually customize each of the menu items let's start with the bitcoin 
that we added. You can change the label, the link, and the icon type. Right now we have no icon, but I'm gonna add a custom SVG. Then you can add badges to your menu. Right now it's new, you can change the badge label. Let's keep it hot and add an emoji, fire. You can change the typography, the background color. Let's change it to something. Nah. That looks fine. If you want, you can add a border, border radius. Let's change the, you can even adjust the position. Get okay, between label and the batch. This looks fine. So the batch thing is really amazing. You can attract uh, people towards particular menu item by adding badges to them. Now we have the item style. And this setting overrides the parent block setting. Right now it's this color. And let's, if you want, you can switch it to something else and rest of the items won't be switched. Let's make it a bit closer to my Bitcoin icon. That looks good. And similarly, you have the normal setting and the hover setting and the settings are practically the same. So I'm not going to touch much into that. Then you have the content position, the position of the content under this particular menu item. I'm going to switch it a bit towards the right. You can even change the vertical value. And these are individual menu item settings. So I'm going to customize all of the menu items just like that. If you want, you can even change the orientation of your menu. I'm just going to keep it horizontal. And there is also the toolbar, which lets you do all of the settings that you can see over here more easily, I guess, from the toolbar. Now comes the part that you guys have. Next, we can add sub menu. You can have a traditional looking, but highly customizable list menu you can customize practically everything from the list items topography color just like how we customize our menu items you can customize the item within the sub menu and these are kind of similar so i'm not going to get into too much detail but let's talk about mega menu now i'm going to delete this sub menu i'm gonna add a sub menu and instead of selecting the list menu i'm gonna select mega menu with mega menu you can add anything within your menu items first let me just adjust the width and the content max width a bit more is good i guess and click on this add block icon and you can add anything, I mean anything. I'm gonna start by adding the post module one of post X. I'm gonna switch the design. Let's say I want this. And that looks amazing. You can add advanced pagination like you could add to the post module block. It will be displayed in the menu as well. You can customize it however you want. I'm going to keep it in center and that's amazing. And the potential is limitless. Let me show you exactly how I'm going to delete that. I'm going to add the mega menu again, but instead of just adding the, a single particular block, I'm going to add a row column of post X, select a layout. I'm going to add another menu over here. I'm going to switch it to vertical view. And then I'm going to add the post module over here. 
I'm gonna switch the layout again. Add pagination. Doesn't that look amazing? Now you can customize it however you want. And that's how easily you can make your normal menu into mega menu. And there are so much more customization option. And that's what makes Post 6's menu block so special. It's highly customizable. Making, converting your normal menu into mega menu is so easy. You can add any kind of block. I'm not kidding, you can add anything. You can even add a video as your sub menu container. To do so, I'm gonna add a row column. First, let me just the width and the container max width. Then I'm gonna add a row column as well over here. Let's adjust the height. Add a menu over here, make it vertical, and I'm gonna add a wrapper, make it slightly transparent. Yeah, and from our row column settings, I'm gonna go to the background and the wrapper setting and I'm gonna click on video and I'm gonna insert a YouTube link right over here. And there it is. You have a video as a container background. You can adjust the menu over here. You can add another block if you want to. Isn't that just amazing? I just added a video as the container of my menu items sub menu items actually you can customize and play around with this mega menu any way that you want and that's what you need from a mega menu and we're not done here let's talk about the hamburg view and you can customize everything about that as well starting from the breakpoint and the draw width Let's keep it like that. You can select the navigation effect. You want a slide or accordion effect. Let's keep that slide. You can adjust the animation duration. You can switch the Hamburg icon. I'm gonna keep it to the box. You can adjust the icon size of the Hamburg view as well. There is different setting from the normal view and the hover view you can just it's a color and the navigation icon i'm gonna make a video about the hamburg view in the future so stay tuned for that in which i will talk more in detail about hamburg view or how to customize your menus in mobile phones so next we have the close icon right now you can see this is basic I'm gonna switch it to this, which I like more. Just the icon size, normal in the hover settings. And then there's a menu item you can inherit from the block parent CSS. Or you can have this more standard or traditional looking view. You can adjust the space, the typography, the menu header you want to be do you want it to be gradient or solid let's keep it at solid for now then there is the header border you can adjust the heading uh, header padding label color right now label is black you can change it into something more eye catchy i guess i'm gonna even change the typography and put some more weight into it that looks better. Let's change the label to back. And then we have the choose back icon. You can adjust it. You can select one of the icons from here if you want. 
then you can change the size the text to icon cap then you have the container settings if you want you can change the color of the container you can have solid or gradient there's also the option to adjust the padding the border let's just keep it as it is you can add some box shadow background overlay let's keep it close to our theme and that's amazing right there's so much customization possibilities with post access menu mega menu block now let's have a look at it in the front end we will look at from a mobile view and also how it looks in your computer so here's our mega menu that's just amazing there's a video mega menu there's a traditional mega menu and here's a menu item which is also a category now let's have a look at it from a mobile perspective here you can see we have a handbag icon when you click on it we got the sliding animation which is consistent throughout here's our mega menu with advanced pagination there's a menu with the video there's a traditional menu and here's the link which takes us to the category page so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you have any more questions or suggestions feel free to drop them in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe and you can learn more about mega menus from the link in the description below